the cock cambium. Fine? So here what you're seeing on the screen is basically a young dicot stem. As the secondary growth occurs due to the vascular cambium, the epidermis starts breaking. Fine? The epidermis starts breaking and it is replaced by a new layer. I'll show you. So the epidermis is there, it starts breaking, it gets damaged and a new layer of lateral meristem, so the cambium, it pops up. Fine? Try to see, try to see what's happening on the screen. Okay, can you see the cork cambium? It's a new layer which has come up. Fine? Yes, it expands outwards, it grows, it expands outwards and it cuts off towards the periphery which results into the formation of the layer called as the cork. Yes, this is the cork for the plant. Now, so the cork cambium and here because it, it has cut towards the periphery and now it results into the formation of the cork. So new layers of more layers of the cork are formed. Fine. Now, the outer cells differentiate into cork also called as the phelum. Please note, the outer cells differentiate into the cork and they are called as the phelum while the inner cells differentiate into the secondary cortex which is known as the phelloderm. Once more, the outer cells they differentiate into the cork which is known as phelum, the inner cells they differentiate into the secondary cortex called the phelloderm. Fine, don't forget. Okay. The cork, you know, is special because it's imper impervious to water. Fine. It is, it is impervious to water because of the suberin deposits which it has. So it's impervious to water. And if I talk about the secondary cortex, it is, the, here the cells are parenchymatous cells. Fine. Now, just try to see how the layers are formed over here. Fine. Now, the cork of the phelum, well, what happens is, you see, the cork becomes thicker, slowly and steadily, the cork becomes thicker. Here is the secondary cortex or the phelloderm. Fine. The secondary cortex of the phelloderm is formed. Now, the cork, the cork cambium and the secondary cortex, together, they are known as the periderm. Find the cork, the cork cambium and the secondary cortex together called the periderm. Fine, got it? Okay. So now, the cork cambium or the phylogen. First, let's talk about the phylogen. So the cork cambium, the metastomatic tissues formed in the cortex. Great. They produce the protective layers, cell layers during the secondary growth. See the phelum is here, the phylogen is here. Fine. Yes. Now, the cork cambium, if I talk about, the cells are narrow, they're thin walled, and they're rectangular. Fine. And what happens? The cork cambium, they cut off on both sides. Because of this, as you have seen already, fine. Because of this cutting off of the cork cambium or the fellow gen, the outer side of that, it forms the cork or the phelum and the inner forms the secondary cortex or the phelloderm. Okay, so a lot of terms, so don't get confused. The phelogen, it's the cork cambium. It cuts off, so the outer side, it forms the cork. It's, it has suberin deposits, it's, it's impervious to water. It's called phelum and the inner one, inner side, it's called the secondary cortex, called the phelloderm. Fine. Try to look into this image and relate to it. Fine. Great. Now, then what is this that you are seeing on the screen? What is this? So what is this bark that we always talk about? Bark of the trees. Well, so bark. So what's that? Let me show you. You know, bark, it's a non-technical term for layers beyond the vascular cambium. So these are, this is a non-technical term which is used to denote the layers beyond the vascular cambium. Fine. Let's see properly. See the layers. Okay. So you see outer. Do you see the cork? Fine. The next layer. Can you see the cork cambium? And together the periderm. 
Now inside this, there's the living phloem and this is basically bark. Fine, the living phloem, the cork cambium, the cork or you can see the living phloem along with the periderm, it forms the bark. So non-technical term for the layers beyond vascular cambium includes the secondary phloem. Yes, the secondary phloem, see it here. It includes the fellow derm, it includes the fellow gen, see the fellow gen is here and it includes the phelum, that is the cork. Got it? Clear? So this is basically the bark of the tree. Great. So yes, together you know this is the periderm, you can say the periderm is basically secondary phloem. Periderm and secondary phloem together is the bark. Great. Now, why does the bark feel as it does? Like, why is it so rough and it's it seems like it's breaking off, right? It's not a smooth texture, it's breaking off. It actually falls off. Now, why? The question is why? Well, the bark, the cork cambium activity, because of this, the activity of the cork cambium, we studied about it, increase in the girth, right? What happens? Pressure builds up on the phelum or the cork, the outer layer. A lot of tremendous pressure builds up because of which the phelum parts die and they fall off. That's the reason the bark falls off. Fine? 